Welcome to the Flash video series on Endocrine Guidelines. We're looking at Endocrine Society's guidelines on Edison's disease. How should we treat them? If you have a patient with confirmed Edison's disease, they need to be started on steroid replacement, ideally hydrocortisone, 10 in the morning, 5 at lunchtime, and 5 with the evening meal. In some cases, we use prednisolone 3 to 5 mg once daily if that is the patient's preference. Dexamethasone should never be used as steroid replacement therapy for Addison's disease. If your patient with Addison's disease is pregnant, then hydrocortisone 1055 is the preferred regime. If your patient has got confirmed aldosterone deficiency, then start them on fluorocortisone 50 to 100 micrograms once daily. Monitor the response to therapy by checking their posterior blood pressure and also side effects of the therapy by checking for edema or hypokalemia. Maintain blood pressure within normal range. Sometimes they have high blood pressure due to fluorocortisone. If they do develop hypertension while receiving fluorocortisone, reduce the dose. If the blood pressure still remains high despite reduction of the dose of fluorocortisone, start them on antihypertensive therapy, but don't stop the fluorocortisone. Occasionally, female patients with Addison's disease develop symptoms of loss of libido. If your patient has got loss of sexual desire, they are having depressive symptoms, lack of energy, they might be candidates for DHEA replacement therapy. Consider a six month trial of DHEA replacement and monitor the symptoms of your patient and also check their DHEAS levels to maintain them in mid-normal range. DHEA is adrenal androgen which can help them with the improvement of above symptoms. This concludes the treatment of Addison's disease. Don't forget to teach them about sick day rules and provide them with steroid cards.